you know, always being able to put yourself in the other person's shoes so that you, you, you're more empathetic, I suppose, throughout that entire process and, and probably can listen better to what they're asking and, and do a better job coherently answering them. Let's start with some of those basic questions. Let's do the one you mentioned that usually comes out near the top. Tell me about yourself. Yeah. So this one, I, I would say you're going to get this in most interviews, if not all. Uh, tell me about yourself or, or a variation. There are some other common phrasings. Walk me through your resume. I put that in the same category. Uh, these are basically, these questions are basically turning, turning things on you, right? <laughs> Putting the ball in your court. As the interviewer, they're basically saying, okay, you tell me your story. You, you would tell me what I need to know about you as opposed to kind of coming up with a, with a more specific question. So from their perspective, they're trying to get you talking. They're trying to, you know, start things off, get the information that they need. And from your perspective, it can feel a little overwhelming because obviously there are many, many things you could say about yourself. And what do you choose? And what do you say? And how do you say it? And are they talking about professionally or personally? Or, you know, how do you, how do you approach this? this question without going off on 15 different tangents and, <laughs> and missing your, your opportunity because it really is an opportunity. It's, anno- it's an annoying question if you are new to it and you don't know how to prepare for it because it is so broad and it is easy to get thrown off track. But if you prepare well for it, 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 it is an opportunity because it gives you the chance to position yourself the way you want them to see you in this interview for this job. Right. So as opposed to just relying on your resume, relying on them to read between the lines and and see what you want them to see about you, you can basically sum yourself up and, and tell your story the way that you want to tell it. So it's much easier to do that if you have an opportunity to prepare a little bit in advance. And and primarily this should be professionally. Tell me about yourself professionally. And it's fine to to throw in a little bit about who you are as a person or interests here and there, especially if you're uh, a student or coming out of school and sort of new to the to the job, the workforce, but for the most part, they're looking for sort of a professional background and particularly emphasizing what it is about you and your background that is a good fit for the job that they're offering. So, so it does help sometimes to customize how you address this question, depending on, on the type of position, especially if you're looking at different types of roles. And I don't know how many of you are focused on this is the type of role I'm interviewing for and all of them are fairly similar. That makes things a little bit easier. But I work with a lot of clients who are, especially my students, who are saying, hey, you know, I have this great background. I could 100% use it to go into finance or I could also look at, you know, going into pharmaceutical sales or I could look at going, you know, there's a lot of different directions they could go in. And so the story they tell when someone says, tell me about yourself, will be a little bit different based on what type of job they're they're talking about so the key really is to highlight the things in your background that make you a match for that job 